Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through my everyday makeup drawer. So basically these are the products that I have been wearing every single day when I do my makeup, whether I'm filming or not. I have like a very basic makeup routine. So if you're interested in knowing all of the products that have been in my everyday rotation, then keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. For primers, I have either been using my Bare Minerals Good Hydrations Primer or my Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. So I love both of these. I don't know what is happening with my skin recently, but I've been really dry, which is not something I've ever really dealt with. I just mentioned that in another video. It is like foreign territory for me, but the Good Hydrations has been amazing. So I'll moisturize as normal, and then I've been putting this on top of my moisturizer, and it just leaves my skin so nice and nourished to put foundation on top of, and it doesn't look dry. So if you have dry skin, I highly recommend this. And then the original skin, this is like no new thing in my collection. I have had this for a while and I absolutely still love it. I did a full video on this actually a while ago when it came out. So I can link that video up here for you guys if you're interested. But this is a great primer. It's an aerosol and I just feel like it fills in your pores so beautifully for your makeup to sit on top of. For foundation, I've been going between the NYX Total Control Drops. I think this is my third one of these. It's what I have on today. Also, I forgot to mention, I have my Bare Minerals Good Hydrations on today. So I have the NYX Total Control Drops. This is in the shade Buff. I love these. I feel like you can totally control, it says total control in the name, so obviously you can, but this is something that you can put on however much coverage as you want because it you can do that with any foundation. Okay, I'm not making any sense right now, but I know what I'm saying in my head. So basically, it's a little dropper and you can make this from a light coverage to a full coverage and anything in between. You can also mix this in with a moisturizer or a BB cream or something like that to give it more coverage or any coverage if that is what you're looking for. So yeah, this is amazing. And then the other one that I've been using a ton is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Santa Fe. <sighs> I love this. It's a little bit too dark for me right now, so I need to get a shade for winter because I am like at my fairest right now. So I definitely need to pick up a different shade of this, but I love this. I feel like it sits on your skin and it's a very skin-like finish. So it actually looks like skin in real life. It doesn't look like you have a ton of makeup packed on. Obviously it's not invisible, so you can tell that you have makeup on, but it is still a skin finish. And I like that you can build this up to get a little bit more coverage in certain areas if you want and it doesn't look cakey. For powders, I have been going between my Laura Mercier Glow Powder. I love this. I did a video on this comparing this one and the original formula with like a side by side on each side of my face. So I can link that video up here for you guys. But this one is just so good. And I love that it gives you kind of like a fresh alive look. Obviously you want to look alive, but I just think that this makes my skin look really nice A lot of times if I set my face with a loose powder I just feel like it takes all the life out of it And then I'm trying to overcompensate by highlighting and contouring to kind of like bring my face back to life This I feel like doesn't do that It kind of just sets your makeup but still gives you that nice healthy glow And then the other powder I've been using quite a bit is my Benef Benefit Hello Flawless This is Okay this is in the shade Honey. I have hit pan on this, and so now I'm kind of in the process of using it up. So I threw this into my everyday makeup drawer because I want to use up my products and not just have a bunch of products that I've hit pan on in my drawers. For bronzers, I've been using my Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast. You guys already know that I love this. This is my second one of these. I think it is so beautiful and amazing. That is what I have on my skin today. Oh, also I have my Laura Mercier Translucent in Glow on my skin today. I think I forgot to mention that. I can't remember now. But yeah, I have the Becca Sunlit in Capri Coast on my skin. I love this. I feel like it's neutral, but not like, it doesn't pull cool at all. It'll still warm up your face without being like an orangey warm tone. And they have a bunch of different shades of this. So I highly recommend this. The formula is beautiful and it stays on your skin all day. It's also buildable. So if you want to get a lighter color, you can kind of build it up or just have a super subtle bronzed up look. Then of course I have my hourglass bronzer in luminous bronze light. This is my all time favorite bronzer. I feel like it's going to be in my collection in my everyday makeup drawer forever. Um, it's just so good. This has a little bit of a sheen, but not like that glittery look on your face. It just gives you a nice, like healthy, warmed up, glowy look. Okay, let's talk about blushes. I have my Tarte Amazonian Clay in Exposed. This is such a beautiful everyday color. I just think that it's gorgeous. 
I don't like super, super intense blush, but I do like to be able to look like your cheeks are a little bit rosy, and I feel like this is that perfect color, so I've been using this one a ton, and this is a pretty neutral, it almost pulls cool color, which I really like for winter. And then I have my Becca blush in the shade Songbird. This is what I have on my skin today. It looks way more intense in the pan than it does once it's blended out, but I will say that this is a very pigmented blush, so you need to be careful with it. If you dip your brush in and like blend it really hard, you are going to have very, very harsh blush lines on your skin. So you want to dip in for the smallest amount and then just blend it out really nicely, and it is gorgeous. I feel like this is like the perfect like rosy cheek look in the winter. And then lastly for blush, I have my Hourglass blush in Mood Exposure. This is so pretty. I feel like this is another really good winter blush shade. It is a little bit cool tone and it looks a little bit deeper in the pan than the other two do, but it, the way that it hits your skin is just gorgeous. For highlighter, I've been using my Tarte Highlight in the shade Stunner. I hit pan on this a while ago and I've been trying to work through it just because Again, I want to work through my products and actually use them up, otherwise there's no point in having them in my collection, but I think this one is stunning, and it's called Stunner. I don't know why I keep doing that today. I'm so tired. Um, the other product for highlight is my Hourglass Vanish Flash Stick in Champagne Flash. That is what I have on my skin today. I just think that this is such a great subtle highlight. It gives you a nice healthy glow without like glowing to the gods. I really like that kind of like lit from within look recently, so this is amazing. I forgot to mention for contour, I've been using my Hamptons Weekender palette, no surprise here. Um, this shade has been getting so much love. I still do really love the blush and highlight in this palette, but this um, contour shade is just absolutely perfect for my skin tone. Moving on for eyes, I am getting a ton of use out of my Urban Decay Aphrodisiac palette. I think because it's so tiny, it sits in front in the drawer, and I just feel like this is a great everyday palette for me. A lot of times I'll go in, set my lid with this shade, and then I'll go in with this for a transition shade, and then I'll put this one in my outer corner or even as my eyeliner shade, and that's all I'll do. It's just such a pretty palette. And then, of course, I have my Man Eater palette. I just did, I just shared this palette, me using it in my Q&A Get Ready With Me. It, that was kind of like my everyday what I'll do, so I usually put these three shades in onto my eyes. So I'll set my foundation down with this one, then I'll throw this in the crease, and then finally this in the crease. I feel like this color is so gorgeous in the crease. And then lastly, you guys know I hate to mention limited edition products if they're not available anymore, but this is the truth. This is the Tarte and Aspen Ovard palette, and that is what I have on my eyes today. I don't really have much in there. All I did was set my crease with Santorini Sands, and then I put High School Sweetheart all over the crease. I know that this palette's a little bit hard to see, but honestly, you guys, if it's off camera, I use this palette quite a bit. I just think that it's absolutely gorgeous, and it just really works for my skin tone, so I still love it, and I use it quite a bit, and especially if I just want to do like a neutral throw something in my crease, these brown and neutral shades are perfect for that. For eyeliners, I have been loving my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This is in the shade Zero. It's basically just a black, but what I'll do is I'll just kind of trace the outline of my eye of my upper eyelid and then I will blend it out with a smudge brush just so I don't have a harsh line it's just kind of like a diffused deeper line on my lash line and that's all I'll do on the top and then generally whatever eye shadow palette that I use I'll blend one of the shades on my bottom lashes so today since I used the Aspen palette I put Road Trip which is this like medium deep brown I put that on my lower lash line if I'm doing a liquid liner I've been using my hourglass one I talked about this in my full face of hourglass products which I can link that video up here for you guys too this is the waterproof liquid liner it is so good it stays in place it's nice and pigmented and black and it's easy to work with you don't have to continue to go over the same spot multiple times you can just go over it once and it's the exact pigment that you would want for my mascara the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara from Hourglass. I'm sorry, there's so many Hourglass products in here. I've just been loving Hourglass recently, and this mascara, I think, is probably my favorite mascara that I've ever used. It is just so good. So that's what I have on my lashes today. I tried so hard to not open this until I went through a couple other mascaras in my collection, but I couldn't help myself. For my brows, I've just been using my Benefit Gimme Brow. This is in the shade 3. 
I love this. It just will give you a little bit more to your brows than you have naturally, just a little bit, not like filling them in majorly, but just like the smallest amount of pigment. So I really love this stuff. For lips, what I have on today is my Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in the shade Stealth. And then on top of that, I have the Sheer Blooming Lip Balm in Honey Blush from Origins. I love this. So this is my combo today. I've also been using my Origins um, Bold Blooming in Sweeter Than Honey and then the Balm in Fuchsia Fields. I love both of these as well. And then I have also been using my Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss Stick a ton in One Mauve Time. Alrighty guys, that is everything that I have been using on my face on a very daily basis. Let me know down below what your product that you can't get enough of is right now. I don't know if I'm the only one who kind of switches out every few months the products that I just can't stop using, but these are the products that have been on my face almost every single day for the past couple of months. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys.